Hello everybody, welcome back in Salman Lab. In today's video, we are going to download and install Oracle Database 19C on top of Red Hat 8. Please download the right download file. Here, because we are, we are using Red Hat, we have to download this DB Home. I already have downloaded this. Please download this. And then we will connect to the started Red Hat. I will connect using a root initially. So here we go. I have connected to my server and I have prepared a plan how to install it using a reference of install document from Oracle documentation. I have met in my server with the minimum OS requirement for a swab and memory. Then I will start preparing the pre-request of installation. There is a list of groups I have to create it. So I'm reverting back here to my lab, I'm just copying paste the prepared document. So I'm just creating the group here. Once the group is being created, I will be able to create Oracle user and add all these groups to be part of this Oracle user. Copy this and maybe a pack to this here. Oracle has been. After creating the user, I have to set up the password. So password, this is the comment used to set up the password for Oracle user. I will do with Oracle password, simple password. So I have, I can verify this by writing ID hyphen A to show everything about Oracle and I will see this Oracle user is part of all these. This is the main group. This is the supplementary groups assigned to this user. What's next? As per my document, I have been created the user. I have to set up a kernel. Kernel with the minimum requirement and the recommended requirement, even it's available in the documentation. I have just take it out from the document. Reference of document will be attached in my below video description. I will, I will, I will, I will add this reference document. In real end, there is etc says CTL. Please make sure you are using Oracle user only, sorry, root user only, because all kernel will be managed by root privilege only. So in this configuration file, I will add this kernel parameter to be set and matched. So this is how I'm just take it out and save it to WQ. Then there is a command that will make this effective directly. So all this has been already set. It. All right, I have updated the package without the version because there is a package and some documentation come with the version. However, if we revert back to the main document of installation, it will be version independency because with each rail there will be maybe certain update against these packages so i have created all packages that will be needed even with the optional one for rail 8 i will take it out from here and just paste it here in my session that's uh, connected and let's see how it will be one by one for example first one yes it has no dependency it's already installed Second, already nothing to do. Anything with nothing to do, that means it's already installed. We'll see. Yes, here there are some packages not installed. It will be installed. And DNF or YAM, it will take care about any dependency for these packages. Let's wait and see how this will be completed. All right, let's see what's next environment in order to set up the needed environment variable for u limit we will create this limits file under the etc security we will call it limits.config let's copy this whether to put it here in a file like this for oracle user this the soft and hard variables and values. This already taken from the document of Oracle installation. 
paste, save wq, enter. What's next? Creating the directory. I'm referring back to optimal flexible architecture directories. You can create any directories. However, this is the recommended directories to install Oracle database on Linux 6086, which Red Hat is one of this family. So let me copy this and just put it in my terminal cmd. This will create a folders directories and will change the permission and owner of these directories as per OFA of Oracle documentation. What else? Running the installer. After creation of all these directories, let me clear the terminal. I have uploaded the downloaded file. In the temp, I have uploaded the downloaded file of Oracle Home from the Oracle download page. It's uploaded here. Now it's time to open a new session. Please don't switch using the old session or can session that you started with root. This will lead you to have issue with the X forwarding, X11 forwarding graphics. So, however, we have to start a new session using Oracle Direct. We have created this user and we have to the password setup and go setup for this. Now you will see this feature X forwarding. If you are using putty, this feature will not be available to you. So please make sure you are using X host or otherwise you have to enter directly in the terminal of server. Here I'm using this as per the document, the easiest step in the 19C. They have created like this previously we have to run installer outside the home however starting with 19c we can we have to unzip the home directly in the home directory so cd to this and i have it renamed the file exactly to be like this unzip hyphen q that means quietly will be so unzip procedure will not be verbose up here to me and I will press enter. After file has been unzipped, here I can click LL to list. I will see all file has been unzipped in this home directory of Oracle. Be clear what's next is running the installer. However, from the document, I know that there is a bug with 19.3 on top of Red Hat or Oracle Linux. If we run installer directly like this, and message will come to us that this OS is not supported. However, it's in the list of supported distribution. That spec can be fixed by using another thing. This is the Java would be loaded now. The GUI of installation will come. Yes, here is it. You can see this message come to us, an expected error while executing action of state supported OS check. Are you, want, are you sure want to continue? That means that this OS is not supported. However, as per the document, you can revert back to this reference, database release note. There is issue that mentioning that by default, there is a CVS assumed distribution so if I export it with 8, which is by default, and run the installer, this issue will come. So how to fix this is by changing the assuming distribution to be with different distributions. So this will be as for, for, for the GUI installation, we will assume that this GUI is different than this, and it will continue normally. You see this, how it will be? Yes. So by this export, it will ascend that this red hat 8.0. Other than this, other than, otherwise, shall, shall we do something? Yes, we can apply latest 
release update along with apply 10 for the latest OCW because this is part of OCW bug. So once you apply these two during the installation, this can, without exporting, it will be launched normally without any issue. It's a very back to our installation and to what we will do, software only. Later on, if needed in our labs, we will do database configuration instance. So it's software only I'm going to install. Click next. Single node, yes. Click next. Enterprise, yes. The fit between is the features. We are going in our lab in the enterprise edition. Click next. Oracle paste, this is yes. Oracle inventory already created, yes. By default, all these administration groups will be set, yes. Oracle already part of all these. Segregation, we'll click yes. Next, Automat or automatically run the configuration. There will be two configuration need to be run as a root user. To do this, we have to run it either separately in another window or automatically by providing the root password here. Let me keep it without automatic so I can trace if there is any needed or how it's run, if there is issue directly to appear in the terminal in the CLI. Let me click next. Now it will be performing the pre-check. Here, the most important thing, we don't have anything missed as a pre-check of Oracle 19 installation. So we have fixed it, click install, and we will wait. Well, this got installed and completed. Then we will do labs on top of this. Let's wait this to be completed. Then we will continue with another steps to make sure that our installation is successfully done. Uh, here we have to run this script in sequence, one by one, using a root user only as mentioned. So I'm selecting here and copy, control C, or and go here and determine, make sure you are running under a root user only. Paste the first script has created the or inventory and other things, whatever is behind in the script. Then I will run the second script, control C to copy it, and again I am in the root terminals and click this as in the path of directory. I will keep it as it in the default. And that's it. As per this, let me clear this and go back and press OK. Here we go. The registration of Oracle was successfully done. Intended of this lab to install software only on top of Red Hat 8 and that's already completed. I hope my video was clear. Thank you for watching this video and see you in another video.